course, uh, everyone is excited and everyone is waiting to, you know, talk to her. And today, at this point in time, we are bringing you uh, Dr. Uh, Sintu Rongpipi here in Karbi Anglong today. Uh, so, welcome to Karbi Anglong today, Dr. Sintu Rongpipi. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Uh, okay, okay. My first question to you is very simple, Dr. Sintu Rongpipi. As you have done, uh, as you have got this achievement from Pennsylvania State University in chemical engineering, and uh, to whom you would like to give this credit, and how is your feeling? Thanks for having me here again. And first and foremost, just call me Sintu. Getting a doctor before my name, I'm still getting used to it. So just call me by the first name. Okay. So yeah, um, I feel really happy and satisfied that I have finally gotten my degree and the biggest part of the credit definitely goes to my family, mm -hmm. my extended family and um, all the teachers that have uh, who have taught me since my very nursery classes till my uh, all through my education and my PhD advisors and all the amazing friends that I have made throughout these years. Mm -hmm. uh, could Dr. Rongpipi, could you uh, share us, would you share us uh, your journey as well as uh, your, uh, you know, the, the journey of this success taking from your kindergarten to this achievement? Yeah, uh, so it's been a long journey. I started, uh, I went to school my nursery classes started in North Point English High School, which is mm. just beside the stadium. Mm. Then I studied there till fourth, and then I moved to Mount Calvary, from where I got my uh, matriculation. I passed my matriculation from there. Then I moved to the Brugger Solbrook Academy for 11th and 12th in science. Mm -hmm. Then I got into, uh, luckily I got it into IIT Guwahati, from where I did my BTEC in chemical engineering, graduated in 2013. Then I was a scientist B in DRDO Pune for three years. Mm -hmm. And in 2016, I moved to Pennsylvania to pursue my PhD in chemical engineering from Penn State University. It's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. And if I have to define it in a few words, it's been a journey of continuous growth. At each stage, I have learned a lot. And learning is something which I feel is so important in life. You live only till you learn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so in this journey, I would say, uh, I just want to ask you in this journey, how much your family supported you? All I owe is to my family. So my immediate family, which consists of my parents, my papa and my sisters, Nebong, uh, Karmis and Bidika, they have been my constant support. I feel I'm very fortunate to have the most supportive parents in this mm -hmm. world. They have always supported in every decision I made. Mm -hmm. And over this five years, my sisters have been my great support. Okay. Just to know that they are closer to home, that they can take care of things if anything goes wrong, it just gives me a lot of mental space to do my research and work here without any uninterrupted stress. Mm -hmm. uh, my next question to you is, Dr. Rongpupi, is that uh, what are those difficulties you have faced during uh, your research for your thesis? Yeah, so PhD is long, as you know, it's five years. I, I graduated in four years, ten months. Mm -hmm. So it's long and it's not easy. My research was mostly, it needed me to go to several national labs in the US itself. So I was traveling a lot. Yeah. Plus I used to do experiments which are like for three to five days continuous. Some days I would just go without proper food and proper sleep for like days at end. Mm -hmm. But at the end of each experiment, when I got like good results, that would be the most satisfying feeling in the world. Mm, okay. Uh, so now you are speaking uh, to me from California, right? As uh, you are doing a, a postdoctoral in California. So do you, my question to you is, do you have any plan, uh, you know, to come back here in your native and do something for your society? 
So yeah, that's a question I find the most difficult to answer at this point okay. <laughs> because I am still very early in my scientific career. I just finished my PhD. I started as a postdoc. I still have a long way to go before I establish myself in this field. Mm -hmm. So wanting to go back to my native, do something for my community, yes, I want to do. And I think one of the fields where I can contribute is towards creating an educational environment for people where people in our community can have a good educational environment for growth because I believe in the power of education to transform lives. But how I'm going to do that, when I'm going to start doing that, that's a question I'm still trying to find an answer to. I'll probably update you when I have an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, my question to you is, um, since many people, many students uh, who are pursuing their different fields, like you are you know, pursuing in your uh, medical engineering field, so what you would like to encourage the younger generation, especially who are you know, pursuing in different fields, so what you would like to encourage the younger generation? I think the first thing I would like to say is dream big. Never be scared to dream of things you want to achieve and work hard for it. I don't think I have any extraordinary capabilities, but I think I have worked hard enough to achieve the goals I have dreamt of. Mm -hmm. So just dream dream of like follow your dreams and also never be scared to ask questions or try to find answers to questions you don't know the answer to mm -hmm. see never be scared to ask questions in the class never be scared to go to the teacher and tell them oh i don't understand this mm -hmm. just ask them because you have every right to know you have the right to get the correct education and also try to find the answers on your own as well and for that i would recommend everyone to just do a lot of reading and reading i think it's not only for the younger generation but for everyone mm -hmm. i request everyone to just get into the habit of reading i read about 20 to 30 books a year and they help me a lot mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is something i recommend to everyone okay uh, so just tell me what you want to tell uh, the younger generations who would like to pursue the career just like you so what do you want to tell the students who would like to uh, you pursue their career just like you're doing yeah so that's something i would like to help other people in understanding that um this is not difficult as i said i don't have any extraordinary capabilities you just have to get the right guidance and i think that's where i can help as personally mm -hmm. so i pursued my phd i didn't need any funds or money of my own because it was fully funded by the university mm -hmm. so there are ways in which you can find your uh, like trajectory if you want to become a scientist you can do a phd and there are sources you can find your answer to there's an internet nowadays where everyone can you know just log in and just uh, do a quick google search and find out about the universities and also you can approach people like they can approach me anyone can send me an email any day and i promise i'll respond like um so you can approach people like in the universities professors or people who have done things like that who have been outside you can approach how you can pursue that career and you can try to find out answers on your own also so yeah mm -hmm. that's my advice like go for it dream about it and Get that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Kijutsi, uh, Nali Joji, Hello. Uh, ton sit a Aniki hang a dupik. Lassi lasso, Aniki hang along Jasimet Bang and Angli, Kupilo, Ovikimi Pangi Puintung. A Kupi and Ninki hang? Jasimet like a prick a prick a field domatidi, non a caprek medical field sit a me, caprek a field sit a me, Lassi along to Hangupilo, Ninjing too. Um, non hood ke belek a kaprek a kaprek a feels to all upcoming. It's not only science education. Mm -hmm. People can do different things. Like my youngest sister, she's pursuing a bachelor's in mass communication. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everyone has a different talent. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is into science or not everyone is into math. But there are ways that we can find out our like trajectory, where we want to go and pursue. I think the best way to find out is to follow the people who have been in those. Mm -hmm. Try to reach out to them. Like in your universities, talk to your teachers. Maintaining a good relationship with your teachers is very important. They make a lot of difference in our life. Like I have benefited a lot from my personal relationship with my teachers. Mm 
So try to find out those people who are in your field. Try to follow what their career trajectory has been. Try to ask them questions. Reach out. Most people, 80% of the people you reach out to will help you. I'm telling you, people are good in nature most of the time. Mm -hmm. So just reach out to them. Ask them the questions. They will be ready to help. Everyone is ready to like share their career trajectory. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be relentless and try to find out. Never mm -hmm. give up. Yeah. Okay, uh, Dr. Sintu Rongpipi, it is a great conversations with you and hopefully you will definitely bring a laurel for our community.